Hi, my name is Paulo. I'm a former Cicero Costas black belt. Right now, I'm a head coach of Dream Art. And today, I'm here in Oshawa, BJJ, teaching some Bermolo techniques. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna choose a side, keep my toes flexing, okay, and now I'm gonna do a hip skate, okay? On this hip skate, I'm gonna focus and keep my shoulders in between my knees, so I don't wanna do this. It's not this that I want, okay? I want to keep the leg in place, I'm not gonna move the top leg, I'm just gonna use the bottom leg, okay, this way, okay? When you do the hip skate, also, guys, try not create space between your thighs uh, and your chest too much okay so you don't want to do this okay and keep you open this space short moves okay move forward and move backwards okay short okay and then when i switch side remember bring both thighs towards your chest one more time then start from the other side De la riva, okay, my partner stand here to the de la riva. Same thing, but in between his feet, okay, and hold the ankle. Today, we're gonna look first to do a grip on his belt, okay. So, I go for his belt, I'm gonna open his leg, kick, okay, and now I'm gonna look for to do the two hooks, right? Where is the two hooks? Foot on top of the hip, and my other foot hooking his ribs, okay. So, I go this way first, one. Second, two, two hooks. Okay, now I re I'm really attached to him. Okay, right now I'm gonna just need to spin. Okay, use the hooks. Don't leave your legs lazy this way. Okay, keep your hooks in this way. Okay, now I spin. Okay. Now I have my head to the other side. Okay, close off his butt. I'm gonna look for to get his four pins. Okay, and my shin is gonna come right behind his knee. So I go here, I can stretch him a little bit, and my knee, my shin comes right behind his knee. Right now I'm gonna keep my hooks and I'm gonna use my shin to throw him forward. This way. Okay? After that I'm gonna look for, for the seat belt. And throw the second hook. Okay? So one more time. Stretch. Two hooks. Spin under, oh. at his far leg, stretch a little bit, bring my shin right under his knee, okay, stretching forward, and go for the back. You guys can see that I, I'm not switching too much my grips, okay? Uh, the only grip that I switch until I have him on this part was the grip on the pants, right? I switch the ankle to the far pants. The rest was the same all the time, okay? So don't think about too much switch grips, okay? Keep the grips where they are. Okay, so another thing, if you have flexibility in shoes, okay, use your forehead to do the spin. Okay, so if I'm here, right, and I cannot go over my neck this way, keep your shin on the ground, your forehead on the ground, sorry, forehead on the ground, and end up on the same place that you had if you have your neck. Okay, the same thing then. Get the back. Okay, so I guess you guys can do this thing using the forehead too. Right, so I want to keep the distance, okay? So I don't need to stretch too much my leg, right? If I end up stretching too much, you can, like, going for my for this side, right? The passing or even jump to the other side also, right? So I want to keep my thighs close to my chest, okay? Remember that we talked before, right? Keep the shoulders in between the knees, right? If I stay starting this way, it's really, really easy for her start smashing my legs, right? So keep the shoulders inside of your knees. A block, okay? Create the space using the foot on the ground. You guys remember the, the hip skate that we did on Monday? We're gonna do exactly same thing. So a hip skate, hip skate, and now I'm gonna try to bring her towards me. 
keep my shoe touched towards my chest, okay? And I'm gonna catch her knee. This way. You can bring your knees over there. Okay. Yeah, just this way. I'm gonna bring my uh, my arm inside of her knee, okay? Foot under the armpit, hand under of her other armpit, okay? And I'm gonna spin under. I spin under, and I'm gonna use the foot behind the armpit to bring her forward. And I'm gonna end up on this position here, okay? Kind of going on between her knees. Okay, after I reach this position, I'm gonna lift her leg up and I'm gonna connect my shin behind her knee and my other shin is go, sorry, or my other foot go on top of her thigh. So I'm gonna just say, oh. So I'm just here and I go, okay. okay. I keep her leg lifted, connect my hand on her thigh and I'm gonna just stretch the leg that I have her leg up. Okay, I go this way. And then we see the belt, so one hook, then we set the hook. Okay, so one more time. So she's passing to work on my side. Frame, keep skate, great space. Keep my arm under the armpit, keep my shin under her armpit. Knees open, shoulder on the inside of my knees. Catch her tight and start bringing her forward. Use my foot under her armpit kick 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 and bring her leg under my armpit on the side i'm going to start lifting her leg up after i do that she behind the knee foot on top of her thigh oh. okay catch her thigh start four and up okay i'm gonna do one now regular speed Okay. If you don't have the belt, you can hold anything you can. You can go for the uh, his pants. Okay, I just don't recommend you go go for this right here. Okay, this grip here is not that good. You can even try to get the collar. It's okay, but this one I think is the only one that you cannot do it for this position. Okay, so I go for the belt. Right? The belt is available. Okay, so I'm gonna kick his stomach right, make him turn. Come back a little bit. I'm gonna stretch. So I'm gonna do this way here. Look, I was holding him like this. Okay, so the like strong de la Riva, toes on his stomach, hand on the belt, hand on his ankle, and stretch him. And make him kind of turn to, toward open his base to, to my side here. Okay, so here and here. So I go here. Okay. Make him turn. After he turns, my foot, I go, this the, the de la Riva foot, I connect over his thigh. And my top leg go on his stomach, this way here, okay? And I'm gonna pinch my knees together, trapping his knee, okay? The only thing cannot happen here is try he's trying to open his knee and avoid my de la Riva, right? So, I'm gonna be this way here, okay? After that, I can, if he's, open more your leg, yeah. So if his leg is far, I cannot get it, okay? I'm gonna use the, de la Riva, the deep de la Riva hook to bring his leg close, okay? And I'm gonna hold. Okay. After that, try to use your hooks, right? The hip, uh, the on, the hooks on his ribs and the hook on his uh, top, uh, top of his thigh. And I'm gonna bring him towards me, bring my thighs close of my chest, and my hands gonna help to bring him to me too. This way, I go. Okay. okay. After that, after I bring him, I'm gonna connect my shin behind his knee, and I'm gonna stretch him forward. Okay. Bring his butt towards the ground. Okay, after that, sit down, one hook, then two hooks. Okay, so one more time. Go for the belt. Stretch, hold the ankle, stretch, 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 make him turn. Hooks. Okay, after that, bring him towards me, catch his pants, slide my shin behind his knee, stretch me forward, and back to it. Okay, so I'm gonna have the de la Riva. Okay, hand on the belt. I'm gonna stretch him, catch this way. Okay, now I'm gonna force his butt going towards the ground. Okay, or can be a reaction my opponent does too. When he want, he don't wanna get the back take, bring his butt on the ground. Okay, this way. Okay, and now after I do that, I'm gonna spin under him. Okay, but remember, my legs not gonna move anymore. Okay, I'm gonna keep my legs. And I have it to spin with my legs on this way here, using just the hooks to help me spin. 
Okay, so I don't want to do this or this. Okay, I just want to keep here and spin under this. Way. Okay, after that, I want to catch his start and I'm gonna do really similar that we did when he was standing. Right, I want to try to connect my shin behind his knee. So I'm gonna keep the grips, catch his leg, catch his pants, and look. Stretching forward, end up kind of the same position that I had before. My right, seat belt, and then two. One more time. So we start in the same way that we did before. Here, stretch, stretching. He's gonna bring his butt on the ground, keep the hooks, speed. Catch his far leg, bring my chin behind his knee, and stretch him forward. Okay, seat belt. Then my second hook. Okay. And let's do two from the... So, the inside of the line here. So, the inside of the line is the same thing. So, keep on the one. So, I'm gonna spin under here, right? Using my side of the heel. And I'm gonna catch this position here. He's gonna start bringing his butt on the ground. Try to face me. I can go for the belt. I can go for the pants. And I'm gonna one more time do the same thing. Spin under here. And then the, the same way that it is before. Okay? So, first, my part, uh, first, I throw my part of his butt on the ground. And I do the brembolo second. When I spin under my partner, he's trying to face me from the inside of La Riva, right? And I do the brain ball. Two more times. The from the side like I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do, try to do this. And he's gonna connect his legs, boom. And he's gonna spin again. Oh, exactly. Then you're shooting behind my knee. So you guys remember when you did stand, the focus is to keep his knee trapped. Right? So I don't want his knee outside of my knees. Right? So I want his knee always inside, this way here. Okay? So every time his knees are come outside, I have to I bring his knee inside using my hands or using my legs or whatever. Okay? But I have to keep his knee inside. Okay? His knee belt cannot come outside. Okay? Uh, what is the other thing? If I remember the other thing, I tell, I tell you guys. Wait. I gotta remember. Okay, so I'm gonna spin, okay, one more time, and I have you, bring your back on the ground now. So now my part have the back on the ground, and I think it's too heavy for me. Bring it towards this side here, doing the first first attempt, at the first position, right? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna keep my legs, uh, keep my legs in place, okay, keep the hand on his far leg, and I'm gonna throw this leg here, the leg that I have with the hook on his wrist, forward, this way, okay? So I just throw, I'm throwing just the top leg. If I throw this one, it's gonna happen. Like what? Right? I don't want this happen. So I'm gonna throw just the top leg. So I go this way. Boom. Okay? After I do that, I'm gonna let go the belt. Okay? And I go right under his armpit. If I cannot reach his collar, just hold behind his armpit. Okay, if I can reach the collar, I hold the collar. Now guys, the most important part of this technique, okay? Keep her spinchy. Okay, and I'm gonna try to throw his knee towards his face. So look, I go this way, and I'm gonna throw his knee towards his face. Boom. Okay, try to step right close of his face. So look. Boom. Okay, so my knee is gonna be a little bit. My knee is gonna be points towards the ceiling, and my foot go on the ground. Okay, guys, don't do that. And try to switch hooks here. Not gonna work. All right, so you here. Knees towards the towards the ceiling, towards the ceiling. Keep his hip high, and now I can let go the grip of the pants. Push his hip towards the ground one more time, and then switch my hooks. Okay. After that, this stretch the leg, throw the second hook, and end up on the back. Good. You guys understand? Let's try. One, two.